Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's me, R Squad 911. I am back again with another duplicate statue unboxing uh, assembly, and I'm just going to skip the review. Um, as I said, I'm just going to stick with exactly what I said. Anytime I get anything new, any collectible, I'm going to do an unboxing video, no matter what it is, um, collectible-wise. Um, and back here, I also have this new. Um, Electronic Pokeball, Poke, Pokeball. I'm thinking Pokeballs. Um, I'm a little hungry. It's late. Uh, it's about midnight over here. I should be asleep uh, for work tomorrow. Uh, also got this Regal Robot uh, Mythosaur, and I have this Regal Robot um, Mudhorn uh, that I'm going to do an unboxing later. But right now, I'm going to do an unboxing of this. Yes, I got another. Uh, Mythos Boba Fett, uh, one-fifth scale statue. Uh, this is my first one. This is my second one. So uh, without further ado, I'm just going to unbox this. <laughs> All right, so um, got this from another collector. Uh, this thing is in mint condition. Uh, he's had it since new. Yeah, he's only displayed it for a little bit. Then he boxed it up many years ago, and uh, he decided that he was going to uh, thin out his collection, and these things were taking up too much space in his storage, and um, he sold it to me. All right, so you guys are familiar with this. This is the um, art print, and then on the back here um, is a whole explanation of this statue. Um, if you guys want to know more about that, you can see my original video. All right, so that is that for that. Oh, and I got a Gomorian Executioner. <laughs> uh, a grail piece of mine. I don't have doubles of this, sadly, uh, but it is one that's going to stay in the collection forever. All right, that's going to be another unboxing video. So tonight I'm going to be doing this unboxing, this unboxing, this unboxing, this unboxing, this unboxing. So that's five unboxings. Thank God those ones don't need assembly. <laughs> All right, so going to take this thing out of the box. Okay guys, something that you guys are familiar with uh, since I did this uh, with my other Boba Fett. Um, here's everything packaged all nicely. Uh, one thing to note is that we are missing the Wookiee braids. Um, my fellow collector, he just called me and said he finally found it. Um, he actually packed it up in um, a Boba Fett, a Sideshow Boba Fett premium format statue. Uh, he just like uh, packed it up and put it in one of these like crevices. Um, so he's been unboxing about 14 statues and uh, he finally found it. So. He's uh, going to bring it to me tomorrow, but we're just going to assemble this anyways today. Um, so here we have his main gun here. Place that there. And then this is his rifle that goes on his shoulder. here. This part pegs into a shoulder there. All right. His awesome jet pack. Amazing detail and weathering. There's a magnet there. Gorgeous, gorgeous paint application. Here we have this little pistol that I will not display it with. Just so dinky. <laughs> so that goes back in the bag. And you ask, why do I have two of these? Well, this statue is so rare. Um, most collectors, when they have this, they don't, um, they don't sell it. And if they do, they sell it for big, big money. And um, 
I think this is still the best Boba Fett statue there is out there. Um, quarter scale, one fifth scale, one third scale, whatever. Um, I think it's the most well-designed piece. Uh, I think the XM Studios Boba Fett uh, one quarter scale is a close second. But I mean, this one is just so, so nice. Oh, man. Okay, so this is his lower half here. You can see the boots, the detail there. The knee pads, the knife, the little trophy lightsabers, and another pistol. Such a great, great piece. Wow. Okay, so that's his bottom half there. Going to do his top half here. Really, really nice detail. Flamethrower. What's a flamethrower on this side? I'm not sure. His robe. Look, I love sculpted fabrics. You know how I hate uh, mixed media, uh, if you follow me. Great weathering on his gauntlets there. Uh, I am still excited the second time around unboxing this. <laughs> It's just such a nice piece. This is his big Mama Jama rifle. Barely fits into frame. This is what I'll definitely be displaying him, just like the other one. I wouldn't display him any other way. It's just too good. All right, so the base is here. It, the base, as you guys know, comes in two pieces. sand base here it's smooth here because that sits in to there which we are about to pull out this is the heaviest part of the statue yeah very simple very typical of the mythos Line. This one is number 1011 of 2500. There's something loose in here, exactly like my other one. <laughs> so that does not surprise me. I'm just going to leave that like that so I can get it out after. And last but not least, well, I can't show you the Wookiee braids because they're not here, but last but not least, the uh, this is the head sculpt. And that's his visor that can come down. The other one that I have is very stiff, so I didn't even want to do this, but this one has a, has good smooth movement on it. And you know these are hand painted because it looks slightly different than the other one. Now, even these ears are slightly lower too, these uh, wolf ears. I I'd rather call them bunny ears, but wolf ears. And uh, even some of the weathering is a little different, uh, which is very cool. So you know that it's like very individualized uh, with uh, the way that they do the paint applications on this. And it's not just a machine done. Uh, it's not machine done. Like uh, this one, this scar across the top here is way more pronounced than my other one. Yeah. All right, so actually, no. I am going to start assembling this for you guys, all right? So I will be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. Going to assemble these guys side by side. Um, see if I can even remember how this all goes together. That is the base, this is the piece of the base that goes on top. So it's going to kind of go like this. I'm going to take his lower half here. And 
peg him into there. Everything fits perfectly. Uh, I guess the next piece would be this top half here. Perfect. Looks good. Have the jet pack. That pegs in like that. Uh, what should we do next? I'm going to do his famous gun there. Very strong magnets. Don't have the Wookie braids, so we're going to, oops, so you know what? I think we take this hand off first. And then we slide this. I believe that's what we did last time. This one's a little tighter. <laughs> that is quite tight. I think it goes like that. It'll sit like that. So to figure out. to get this up and over. And that just disconnected. So I can just do it like this now. All right. And then reconnect it at the rifle. I'm not sure if it was supposed to come off like that, but it did um, at the butt of the gun there. But it looks like a slot, so I've slotted that in. It looks fine. If anything, a little drop of crazy glue. I'll fix that right up. But um, I think it's meant to do that, actually. Um, what I'm talking about is this piece here. It actually disconnects from there, and then I just plugged it back in. There was actually like a slot or a key for it. All right, so then we put this gun back here. It's a very tight fit. It almost like rests on his gauntlet there. Beautiful. And then of course, the big gun. No disintegrations. And last but not least, his head sculpt. I'm going to move these guys closer together so you guys can check them out. It's kind of crazy how different uh, the paint application is on their helmets. I don't know which one I like more. This one's more speckled and this one's more like scraped. Hmm. This one definitely, definitely has more damage on it. Same, uh, the backpacks are pretty identical. I guess like when they are painting us, they have a guide on how they're supposed to do it. And then other things, um, I think they're allowed to take artistic liberties with, but Everything else seems to be pretty good. This one's a little bit lighter paint app. This one's a little darker. Um, I don't think the camera will be able to pick that up. Uh, the weathering on the boots. This one sits a little flusher with its base. I don't think it's a leaning issue or whatnot. That's just the way it is. Actually, nope, sorry, he just shifted. So now they both sit perfectly flush. 
Yeah, I mean, they all look pretty similar. But it's definitely the helmets that are totally um, different. And I'm wondering if they're even interchangeable. Yeah, they are interchangeable. Well, we'll see here. I mean, this one has a little bit of movement. This one's on there solid. Oh, this one has a little bit of movement too. I think that's the way it is. Okay, so I'll bring these up close to the camera so you guys can see the differences in the paint application. I don't want to mix them up. All right, so on the left here is um, the new one. And yeah, I can tell because this one moves and this one is very more stiff. So we'll start off on the side shot. Oops. <laughs> side shot here. You can see the difference. Uh, new one, old one. It's really cool to see these side by side. Hopefully this camera will get into focus and you guys can see the difference in how they applied the paint. How often can you get two of these side by side? You can even see here there's more um, weathering on the front, on the red part of his, of his helmet versus this one. Yeah. All right, so back on with their heads, not off with their heads. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. This is my little unboxing video of another Mythos Boba Fett one fifth scale sideshow collectibles, uh, bounty number 239. Um, super happy to have them both in my collection. One's going to go to the office, um, one's going to stay here at home. Uh, really happy to have them both. Um, oh, even looking at the camera here, you can see that that base is a little bit more brown, darker brown than that base. Um, but either way, not going to have them side by side for anybody to judge me. Um, but they are both awesome. They've always been awesome. And I'm happy that they're home. So uh, that's unboxing video number one for today. I got a bunch more to do. I got four more to do. So I'll catch you guys on the next one. Like, subscribe, comment below. Tell me that I'm crazy that I have two of these things. All right, so I'll see you guys later.